Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is day four of our Wild Atlantic Way Bee Trip. That was a lovely stay last night. I really enjoyed uh, that we staying at the Camp Street wee restaurant, the wee rooms above the, the, the chip shop there. <laughs> It looked a bit of a grim when I first arrived and it looked a bit of a strange but actually in reality it turned out to be a lovely stay, it's a lovely place. The wee restaurant down the stairs was excellent, the people that own it were incredibly friendly and really nice to talk to. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The only downside of it was there was no breakfast. <laughs> but that said, uh, just a couple of doors along from the the, the where I was staying is at the Connemara uh, Hotel and they do breakfast in there and I was along there and had some lovely poached eggs and stuff and tea and, and stuff and it was an excellent breakfast. So we're on our way, we're still heading south and uh, let's go and see what adventures we can find today. Uh, the weather's looking better for today, it's a uh, quite a good forecast, uh, hopefully it should stay dry. Uh, pretty much the whole day, it might be the odd wee shower, um, but definitely much much better looking than it was yesterday which was grim. Well, we've been making make some progress, we've been right around uh, the Galway Ring Road and some main roads, we're now in some nice areas now, this is Kinvara, <laughs> what a gorgeous wee place it is, absolutely beautiful. Yeah we're starting to get back into some more scenic parts. The other bit was, well, it was a nice, really nice road, but it was a bit boring for the video. Look at this building here, that looks nice, eh? The, the Mermaid Hotel. Just saw a sign back there, it says Corkscrew Hill. So, and I see a bus sitting away up the top of the hill up there, so I think that must be Corkscrew Hill going up there. This could be a fun bit. Let's go on the Corkscrew. First hairpin, second hairpin, maybe. Let's go with the Irish Stelvio. Nice place to ride, huh? Nice place to ride. That's great, yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's fun. <laughs> you ride up your ladders, this is your first time. Well, first time. Yeah, I didn't even know about the show, I just saw the sign at the bottom and said, oh, this is going to be a good bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ride all by yourself? Yeah. What do you ride, a Triumph? That's a wee Royal Enfield. What is it? Oh, Royal Enfield. A good, a good road for a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, it's fun. It's great fun. <laughs> <laughs> Band for for the, for the car is not the, is not the, the the best way for the car and uh, I am Italian uh, uh, we 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 drive on the on the right side yeah uh -huh. <laughs> so it is different it takes a back getting used to complicated with the the, the band uh, the so we 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 go slowly. <laughs> Yeah, everybody goes quite slow here. The roads are really quite narrow, they're yeah. quite tight. That was a fun little bit down there. What a great road this is though, coming away up here. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is great fun. I'm so pleased that the weather's better today. It's just... It makes this more enjoyable. This is what we came to see. Some lovely roads and some good weather. Not like yesterday, because it was like winter yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely warmer. We're back on the right on the Atlantic coast. Look at that house there with the it's almost a turf. Not well, thatched, but it's almost like grass growing on the top of it. <laughs> more windy now as well because you get the wind coming straight off the Atlantic. Let's go straight over there, the next stop's America. Another wee thatched house as well, cottage as well, that's nice.
Well, that was my exercise for the day. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea. I've seen other YouTube people saying that was a place you could go and park. You got away from all the thousands of normal tourists. So I thought, oh, that's quite handy. And it's only a short walk up to the cliffs. Well, maybe a short walk to them, but uh, it, was <laughs> it was quite a long walk for me. It was good though, but the walk was quite uphill and you have really strong wind, but it was easy coming back. <laughs> uh, I didn't fly the wee drone, which I wanted to, but I kept thinking, God, oh, it's such strong wind, it'll get blown away and it'll be over the cliff and I'll never see it again. So I got some uh, video from my phone. Even that, it was really hard to try and hold the phone steady. It was getting blown by the wind. So the video from that section might be complete and utter rubbish. <laughs> but that was the Cliffs of Moher. And I've seen them. They are definitely big, impressive cliffs, that's for sure. We've got to make some progress now. No idea how I ended up on this road. I'm just following that nap. <laughs> it's a wee background of the grass in the middle of it. I didn't think this is the way to go. Do not follow sat nav. Are you trying to go to the ferry too? Yeah. Go our way. <laughs> Uh, can you go that way? I don't know, I'm not sure if that's the right one or not. I'm going to the Shannon Ferry, I don't know if that's it or not. I would say that's the best way to go. Kill Rush. Yeah, that way. Oh, we're waiting in the queue to get on the Shannon Ferry. And that's the mighty River Shannon down there. So I get down to the, a bit further south without a huge detour. It should be fun. I like going on ferries. <laughs> us off the ferry. We're on the south side of the River Shannon. That was an easy wee crossing. Quite lucky with the ferry timings as well. It landed. It all worked out quite well. This is actually quite pretty over here. Well, we're nearly at the end of uh, this today's run. It's not been the best run in many ways. Uh, I've been trying to get myself repositioned further south to take on the kind of Ring of Kerry area and, all, and which should be quite stunning in the next couple of days and also to get, kind of get over the Shannon River and all these areas so it's not been so much interesting stuff t uh, to see it's just been down to logistics in many ways so yeah, it's only a couple of miles to go to the end of today, today's run which will be in Fennet. And we'll be staying in a, the West the West End Bar and Restaurant, I think it's called. That's uh, basically a... It's meant to have a, a, a good wee restaurant, a good um, seafood restaurant, which I, I quite enjoy. So this is where I should be staying the night, just here. Oh, it's here, the West End Bar. Things don't always go to plan on tours, do they? <laughs> You've got to be ready for the unexpected. And things didn't go to plan today. Uh, all day I've been riding along, really looking forward to dinner t this evening. Um, I quite like well, sea fish, lobster prawns, that kind of thing. And langoustines, yeah, delicious. Scallops, oh yeah, scallops, love scallops. Um, and one of the places that I had booked to stay is this um, me pub restaurant hotel 
I'm, I'm staying in tonight. And I had a good reputation for seafood. And I was really looking forward to coming here and spending an evening, having a lovely meal. I was going to lash out and really enjoy myself. Only to discover when I arrived, there was a sign at the door saying, no food tonight. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, so I basically went into book and, and yes, I was met by a real Basil Faulty character. Gosh, yeah, this, this is this is Faulty Towers, this place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, should be, yes, there's no food tonight. Can't get staff, there's no food. And, well, is there anywhere else locally? Um, well, no, not really, because this is actually quite a remote location. It did point me to another restaurant that was three miles along the road which was actually quite an upmarket, very, very ex quite an exclusive restaurant. And I thought, well, I'm not going to walk there. The place is, I'm not going to ride up in my bike gear <laughs> and sit in a really posh restaurant and having a posh meal sitting with my bike gear on it. It's not, it's not done. And there's nothing here. Even the chip shops, the, the chip shop, yeah, it's closed on a Wednesday. And yeah, this is Wednesday. <laughs> so there's, there's nothing, nothing to eat. It's a bummer. I was on, and even the room, it's a, it's fairly kind of tired. I'll show you what the room looks like, but kind of spin you around. As you can see, the room is rather tired and sad and neglected. <laughs> now, I could accept that if I, could, if I was sitting down the stair and had a, a wonderful meal. Um, I have to say, when I arrived here after a long day on the bike, Found into this, showing my tired room, no food and no food anywhere. Uh, I was straight on Booking. dot com. I thought I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to get out of this place. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> but there's nothing. This is there's nothing anywhere remotely close to this place I could get into anywhere. I thought, oh, bummer. What am I going to do? So the nearest town was Tralee, which is about nine ten miles along the road. So I thought, oh, cool. I'll ride along the trolley and see what I can get. So what I ended up doing was going to Tesco's and trolley, buying a few odds and sods that could see me through the, the, the evening and coming back here and just consuming some crap in my in my room. What was meant to be a really, really nice evening. Yeah, it just wasn't. Never mind. That's what happens on tour. Things don't always go to plan. <laughs> Hopefully, tomorrow will be much better. <laughs>